the life of the party. Didn't matter what kind of party it was. Loved to make crafts. She was a hockey player. She was a step dancer. Adored her sister. Played hard, laughed harder. Morgan Wall was a little girl full of light, love, and life. I like to go. Always like to go. I couldn't stop her. Cancer did stop her. It came suddenly and cruelly. You started noticing little things where she'd stumble and fall, and she'd wake up in the middle of the night with screaming in pain. She fell down one night at dance school when coming out of the door. We brought her to but, Chio Emerge when she had lost feeling in her legs, and they did an emergency MRI and found two masses on her spine. Those masses paralyzed Morgan from the chest down. The wall's world changed in an instant. The team at Rogers House understood what the walls needed. We lived at Chio for four months before we got our first break, and our first break was to come here to Rogers House to use it as transition. It was calming, it was comforting. It gave us opportunity to try out equipment because we would have to equip a, a house to be handicap accessible. They taught us, they showed us what we were going to have to do with Morgan, and they gave us the confidence that we'd be able to go home and continue her care. So it's it's an amazing stepping stone. There was a hole and Rogers House filled it. Her parents found answers and Morgan found joy in simple pleasures. Morgan loved to bake and loved to use the kitchen and stuff. And that was what she wanted to do was when you first came here was let's have a home cooked meal because we hadn't had one in four months. Morgan loved coming here because her sister could come and visit her here. We celebrated McKenna's first birthday here because we would have been in hospital and she would not have been allowed to visit. But Rogers House was available that weekend and they allowed us to come here and we had all of our family and all of our friends with Morgan, with, Morgan, yeah. with everybody in, in that room upstairs. And Tanya and Jeff knew Roger's house was where they needed to be when Morgan could no longer fight her brave fight. We came here and that was a Thursday and she passed away on the Monday. Um, the room was full of people all weekend. Roger's house allowed us to have as many people as we needed and as we wanted around Morgan and as much support as well. Um, the nurse that was on duty the day that Morgan passed away is an unbelievable person. I asked her to sit in the room with us when we knew that it was coming down to the, the last hour and minutes of Morgan's life and she sat right with us and it was so calming at such a hard time in our life, but you knew that she was okay. Their grief is still so raw, and the Rogers House team is still there, looking after this family through ongoing bereavement counseling. It's just nice to be able to have a place where you can come and talk about your struggles, um, celebrate your little milestones, which is, you know, I finally looked at a picture and didn't cry. We started bereavement three weeks after Morgan passed away. So that put us into November. So we had the Christmas season coming up. And just being able to talk to people and, and coming up with different ideas of how to handle it. I think both Jeff and I agree. We wish it wasn't something that we needed in the community, but we are so thankful that it's here. It offered our family and Morgan just such a comfortable, home away from home when we needed it the most. The opportunity to be normal in an abnormal situation. A place that's given Tanya and Jeff the ability to celebrate Morgan's life, the courage to put one foot in front of the other after her death. She's the bravest little girl I've ever met. She had to go through the cancer treatment we stood by and watched her, and she made it so easy for us. She smiled every day. She laughed every day. She lived life as best she could and as much as she knew she could at seven years old. She taught us all a lot. It's amazing. She is my little old soul. <laughs> That's how I describe her.